guys and welcome back to just a quick little requested video that I'm going to do uh, for you guys today. Um, now recently I got um, a comment on um, my Windows 10 build 10036 video um, by Polska Diamond. And I'm sorry if I'm uh, like pronouncing your name wrong or you know anything like that. But basically uh, he said is there any way you can get a sound card on a Windows 98 VM or 98 and below. And I just said, well, you know, instead of trying to uh, explain that to him um, in a text comment, I just said, well, I could make, uh, you know, a whole video about that. And this could also help some of, some of you guys that are, that are having the same problem that can't get uh, sound to work in a Windows 98 uh, virtual machine. And this only appears to, uh, at least for me, this problem only appears to... Uh, happen in uh, VMware Workstation or VMware Player. I have not noticed it in Oracle VM VirtualBox or Microsoft Virtual PC because I just think it works normally in that. For some reason, VMware does not like to uh, install the proper driver for the sound even when you have uh, a sound card installed in the virtual machine. And after doing a, a bit of research, what I've actually found is that you have to um, uh, install a sound blaster driver. And I'm guessing this is because that VMware uses uh, a virtualized sound blaster card. But basically, I'm going to have links to both of these files down below. Uh, depending on which version of uh, Windows 95, 98, or, ni or 98 Second Edition that you're using, you're going to have to get one of these files. If, if you're using Windows 95 or 98, you're going to want to uh, grab the first link down below to this file. And if you're using Windows 98 Second Edition like I am here, you're going to want to grab the second link. Um, both of them do the same thing, it just depends on which version that you're using. If you try to uh, install this on um, the first edition of Windows 98 or on, or on Windows 95, it's not going to work properly. So you just want to make sure that you get the right file. Um, so yeah, let's just uh, go ahead and open this file and it's going uh, to self-extract everything. And it's going to uh, prepare the install shield wizard. Now this is for uh, the PCI 128 Sound Blaster driver. And we just have to... Uh, um, agree. Now you can see first of all, like how old this is. Uh, this license is for or was last modified on July two thousand one. Uh, so that is uh, how old that this is. But I'm just going uh, to click on yes. Obviously, it's going to update the Windows driver. This is actually a very simple process. Now it is going to ask you to insert uh, your Windows setup CD. Now if you have uh, a you know fully working VM, I'm going to guess that you have. Um, you know one of these ISOs downloaded. Now if you don't, um, I have I believe uh, a tutorial for Windows 95 that that has a, a link to an ISO file um, and I may plan on doing you know one for uh, Windows 98 second edition here soon because I believe I got I think someone uh, wanted me to do one of that so I might be doing that here soon but I'm just going to insert that CD here now once you have that put in you just want to press OK and it's going to ask you to load where the files are from now it's going to normally be in uh, the D drive you just want to double check by going into uh, my computer and you'll see that uh, the um, CD has been loaded into the D drive so if you just go in here you can see that everything's in there so you just want to go back to here and click on OK. And it's going to copy everything over from there. And yeah, it's basically, I don't know why VMware does this. It just says uh, that, that the guest operating system has like locked uh, the CD ROM. So if you ever get this error, just, uh, just click on yes uh, to allow it to override the lock. And I believe if you just click OK again, it's going to ask you the same thing. Just click OK. So for some reason, my uh, virtual drive got uh, disconnected there momentarily. I just had to reconnect it. And once you're finished, it's going to ask you to restart your computer. So just uh, click on finish and it's going to restart. And hopefully when you boot back up, um, yeah, we'll just click close. Hopefully that's not going to affect anything. So we're back here at the login screen. We're just going to log in and hopefully if everything went well, uh, we're going to hear the Windows 98 startup sound play. So let's see if everything went well. It's actually going to find some new hardware first. Apparently it found a game port joystick. And there we go. So you can see that, yeah, we have sound working now. Um, I probably should also mention that um, even if you uh, install VMware tools, 
um, it does not uh, install the sound driver without having the, this file. I probably should have mentioned that before uh, the video, but I you know, you know kind of forgot to mention that. Um, but yeah, that's again one of the weird things that VMware does, and I'm not really sure why. It just you know can't really uh, find the right driver. I'm guessing, but if you install one of these files, you'll see that if we go uh, into the Windows Control Panel now, we will go into Sounds, and we can uh, actually play these sounds now, and they're going to come through you know perfectly all these sounds now before if you were to try to do this you wouldn't be able to uh, hit the play button it would probably be like uh, grayed out because there's obviously uh, or the VM is not uh, detecting any speakers so there's nothing obviously for it to uh, play the sounds through but now obviously that's changed so you can play through all these sounds so yeah so that is basically how you can get sound working again this will also work in uh, windows 95 it has the same problem uh, here if you're using vmware um you just have to use this driver and for windows 98 first edition again uh, just use this um or the uh, same driver as you would with windows 95. so yeah guys um i uh you know hope this helped you out again thanks to uh polska diamond again i'm sorry if i'm uh, you, you know completely butchering your name there um, but thanks for uh, suggesting this video and if this you know guys helped you in, in uh, any way Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video